Good afternoon. I hope everybody is ready to see some shiny cards today. We're going to be doing a mail day and collection update. So we're going to have a few packs to open at the very end just to satisfy that itch. But I wanted to show you guys where we stand on the collection, where we're going, and what we're looking for. Um, yeah, let's just uh, get into it. So first, I thought I would start with my favorite, Branded. As part of my collection, of course, it is the deck that I like to play on Master Duel. It is uh, fairly competitive almost at all times, and uh, it's just, I love the archetype. The, the artwork is just gorgeous. He's, he's my favorite boy. Yeah, check out. So, of course, we're going to have a playset of branded fusions that will be upgraded to ultimates in the near future. We have our three branded openings in Prismatic Secret Rare. I think that is the highest rarity we can put these bad boys in right now. Three triple, triple, uh, three triple tactics talents. Uh, we have a quarter century secret rare. Or not a quarter century, sorry, a platinum secret rare. Oh god, I was wishing. I wish they're quarter century. Uh, eventually, hopefully, these will be, but... We have a Platinum Secret, we have a Regular Secret, and an Ultra Rare for the Triple Tactics Talents. We have three Prismatic Fusion Deployments. Also, I believe the highest rarity. Those come in one Super Rare Branded in Red. I do need to upgrade my Branded Loss to a Super Rare. This is one of the very few and only commons in the entire deck. We have a Platinum Secret Rare called by the Grave. A Platinum Secret Rare Dark Ruler No More. A Super Branded Retribution, yay Recursion. We have a Magnificent Maven's Ultra Rare Harpy's Feather Duster. That, I believe, is going to be getting a reprint. Flash. If, if, I don't know, but I think we're getting another reprint of this. But, but we have a Prismatic Ultimate Rare. Infinite Impermanence. We have a Quarter Century Secret Rare. Infinite Impermanence. We have a Colle uh, Prismatic Collector Rare. Impermanence. We have three speed duel. Oh no, sorry. Two speed duel polymerizations. Secret rares. Also super pretty. The speed duel boiling is always great. We have our quarter century super polymerization. Just, just gorgeous. Uh, BLMR. Yes, it is. Oh, Monstrous Revenge. We have a Secret Rare Effect Veiler. Some of y'all might understand why I have a Dark Magician in my deck, but it is uh, for a dark, in, uh, dark... Red Eyes Dark Dragoon? Yes, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. But I do not have him yet. You will see what I have in place of him. We have couple of collector rare Nibiru uh, prismatic right prismatic collector rare Nibiru at uh, Nibiru the primal beings we have a regular secret rare Nibiru we have a prismatic collector rare ghost bell we have let's see this is just a regular secret right yeah we have a regular secret ash blossom I think that was from the tins Rarity Collection. Here's the tin uh, Prismatic Secret Rare. And we also have a beautiful Prismatic Collector Rare. Ash Blossom. We have a 
Prismatic Secret True Swarm. I need to upgrade this Serenir from a Super to a Prismatic Secret as well. We have a Prismatic Magnumut. We have, oh boy, the big boy Bistial Lubelion. Beautiful secret rarity. Everybody's most ha hated <laughs> branded card, uh, Gimmick Puppet Nightmare for that lovely, lovely uh, puppet lock. Yo, it's mechanics. I'm sorry, I don't know what you want me to say. Uh, Despian Tragedy. I'm probably going to add one or two more of him in there. Uh, three. Uh, OTS Pack Ultimate Rare. Lubers. Now these, uh, the OTS Pack Ultis are so much prettier in the foiling than... Uh, the prismatic ultis that we get in rarity collection, the embossing and the texture is just so much better in my opinion. Uh, are the prismatic ultimate rares beautiful? Yes, yes they are. They're gorgeous. But I think the uh, tournament pack foiling is just that much better. We got Tri Brigade. Uh, I want to put a couple more of this guy in here. Two beautiful secret blazing cartesius one beautiful guiding quim and the main man albaz himself we got a rarity collection secret we have a rarity collection collector's rare what, prismatic collector rare and here he is in his quarter century glory the main deck we have our we have our side deck we have a few drill unlocks uh, I have you'll see these in different rarities later uh, also need to upgrade those you know a few DD crows these were going to be swapped out for other uh, spot removal options I believe anti spell just went on the ban list I don't remember it might be limited to one or completely uh, forbidden either way You'll see a couple of other rarities of that later. Uh, just some one Uh This was, you know, an old theory. Uh, probably outdated at this point in time. Always a good one. Galzo, shout out to you, buddy. You really love Ad Libitum in your main, and that's actually where I put... Oh, wait. No, was it Ad Libitum? No, he's always, with, he's always about Quirtus, right? Uh, do have a prismatic ultimate rare change of heart. So pretty. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. We have a ultimate rare lightning storm. A cross out designator for all those pesky cards you need to get rid of as a branded player. And a QCR lightning storm. Uh, you know, always have some removal. And in the beautiful extra deck, we have beautiful Despian Lulu Walilith. A quarter century rare Predaplant Preda Dragostapelia. Guru the Wings of the Resonant Life. I'll be on the Sanctifier Dragon. There's the Quiridus. There he is. Uh, one of. I usually have two masquerades going in. Uh, to most of my my builds, but I think I was running slim on this one. Yes, and here is the reason for the Dark Magician in the deck. So uh, where I usually would love to have a Dragoon, I don't have him. So the best other option would be back row spell protection with uh, Dark Magician Dragon Knight, and I can also use that uh, Dark Magician for the same one. But once I get a Dark Dragoon, I will probably be subbing that out. Oh, uh, everybody loves this Rimbrum. Granny Google. The Dust Dragon. Grand Guiganol, I'm sorry. I, I call it Granny Google. Should have two Albions. One Lubellion. Oh, man. 
I believe the Starlight Rares for Mirror Jade are sitting somewhere around over $300. So considering I have two Mirror Jades in my extra deck, that's uh, whew, that's a little rough and, dis uh, and uh, daunting. Beautiful Bestial Dissipator. And Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Now the great thing about all of these cards is I have pulled all of these myself. I don't. I, there might be one or two that I might have gotten in some different orders, but I pulled all those bad boys myself. That is all me. Mine, 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 mine. No. Uh, I am really enjoying the um, Ashen archetype look. Like, look at this priestess. Ain't she just pretty? Mm -mm -mm. Gotta love them waifus. But as uh, I'm not a huge Souls fan, but. Uh, Elden Ring was so much fun. Getting, getting, uh, being able to run around Elden Ring with my best friend as uh, with a co-op mod was just so fun, never-ending fun. But uh, this beautiful Priestess of the Ashen City, the King of the Ashen City, Hero of the Ashen City, Obsidian. Um. I'm keeping a Zeus on hand just because I I like him. I want to keep one. Uh, who doesn't love Lumiere, right? Uh, this is also some of the cards that just haven't quite found a home yet in the binders. Uh, but we have the Embodiment of Apophis. Was he a sp1 i don't remember what sp1 is from i'll have to look that up later or i'll have it noted above dark hole dragon the moment i saw him coming out i was just like man dark hole used to be one of my favorite um spells from the og days and so of course i made sure to get a play set of dark holes and dark hole dragons uh these this gravekeepers ins inscription these spellbounds I am holding on to these because they just seem way too useful. Not enough use it, people use them right now. And at some point in time, I have a feeling they're going to be pretty good. And of course, some old school cards like Unity, Deck Devastation Virus, uh, everybody's favorite Band Maxi card. I'm just keeping one of these just because, I mean, I can't even play it. But uh, the day Maxi comes off of the ban list, I'm sure that's going to go into people's... Th uh, Next immediately, and then we have three Santa Claus. Uh, these were the kaijus in my deck at one point in time. Can always be subbed in and out depending on the meta, but they also look really cool in that gold secret foiling. So, um, let me get onto this subject before it, I move on and completely forget about it. Thank you for uh, accepting the challenge heart of the pack, uh, Blister King. All that other, uh, those other wonderful names we love calling you. I'm just kidding. Uh, you're a great man. Thanks for the shout out on the channel. Uh, all, all of your people are welcome here to enjoy the pack openings just like they do on your channel. If you are from Heart of the Packs channel, welcome to the family. We're all about collecting and having fun here. And um, yeah, I would love to take you up on the challenge for a pack battle in the future. But before, if you're going to own a crown, my brother, let me show you how to wear it properly. This, this whole, this right here. No, no, no. If you're going to wear a crown... That's how you wear a crown. But until I take it from you, I will not wear this as I open up blister packs because you are the blister king so far. But just know, like I said, homie, I'm coming for that crown. Now, we're going to get to some of my favorite parts of the collection. Uh... I was digging through some stuff and I found this guy in a random lot that I bought off of uh, like Poshmark or Macari or something like that. And 
uh, he was just kind of sitting in a little folder, and turns out he is probably sitting around 60 something dollars in his condition. Had no idea. Just randomly looked him up and was like, oh my god, this, this card's actually a little bit of money. It is the ECH... Uh, EHC1. EN004. I will look up some of that information, and it'll be right up here. Uh, that one caught me by surprise. Now, if you know what this one is, this is the Adidas release. There was some shoes, some Dark Magician shoes, that uh, my beautiful partner got me for Christmas. And this was the promo card that came with it. Uh, just like the 25th rarity, there is an Adidas stamp right down there in the little text box. And uh, this beautiful, beautiful promo foiling, this prismatic like DDS foiling, uh, which I do have a lead on a, a really nice, uh, well, not really nice. I do have a lead on a DDS Exodia, but not Exodia. Oh, talk on it. Uh, DDS Blue Eyes. Uh, I would say heavy to mod play, but uh, might be able to make a decent trade for it. And I found this astral print in the Battles of Legend chapter one. Uh, video and mail day actually i believe it was the video previous to this so go check out that one this is one of the very first starlight rares i ever pulled i actually sold the first two to kind of uh pay for car stuff and to get the channel started the actual first two starlights i ever pulled was a um access code talker and super polymerization and I sold the Access Code Talker for either $580, uh, somewhere around $600 when it first came out. Uh, I was looking for the Exodia pieces, but I had some car problems, had to sell that, and the Super Poly. Uh, I think I sold, I think I sold the Super Poly for around $170 to $200, so $800 took care of the car, and kind of gave me the funding to uh, get back into collecting. And so here we are. Uh, I think the very next starlight that I pulled was this Keshtira Rice Heart. Uh, at the time of my pulling it was sitting at a whopping $250. Uh, I watched this uh, as soon as I, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get rid of it. It's a hot item right now. I might as well sell it and make the profit and keep investing, you know. Uh, I, Fresh off the press would have loved that, man. But uh, I was a little too, too, a little too late on the curve, and this crashed down to I think sixty-five, two hundred and fifty dollars, down to sixty-five dollars. That's insane. Now it's back up to about a hundred and ten, hundred and fifteen dollars. But wow, watching the value of this roller coaster uh, was just crazy. Um, and then the next one that I pulled after that was the Dark Magician Starlight. Uh, was this uh, Battles of Chaos? Yes, yeah, this is uh, Battles of Chaos. Did not get the uh, Dark Magician out of that, but I did pull uh, this one myself. Once again, 99% um, of the cards you're going to see in this collection were all pulled by me, except for some of the vintage stuff that's in the binders. Those came from um, just random lots and collections that I've uh, purchased online so far. And then this is another fun gift that uh, my beautiful partner Sammy got me. A one ring she pulled herself, either her or her dad. I think they opened a, a split a box and she kind of squirreled this away for me. Uh, love it, beautiful. Uh, probably sitting around the 50s, 50 to 70, no, 40, 50 dollar range, something like that. And then this one I pulled myself. This is uh, out of the Lord of the Rings collector boosters. This is the uh, Dwarven Ring, uh, completely written in Elven script. I think there's about 7,000 of these that were printed in the world. It is not a serialized one. A serialized one goes for a lot more. I think this one is sitting at about $176. Uh, prices, of course, will be up in the corner. Uh, and yeah, that's everything that's not in the binders so far. But let me show you some of the giveaways and things that I won off of whatnot. I uh, got, got some DC stickers. Uh, I'll probably be throwing these in my orders as I uh, just... 
I don't know what else I'm going to do with them, but uh, I will take free free stickers and stuff like that. I can give to my um, uh, my TCG uh, buyers anytime. Uh, this was also a couple of fun giveaways that I won in a channel. Um, some DC, like limited edition release cards. Uh, apparently, uh, small numbers, like three or four digit numbers are like supposed to be really rare or good. But I don't care. We got a Batman. We have a holographic Flash. Yeah. Strife? I am not that big on the DC comic stuff. That is definitely more of my best friend, Ray. Uh, we have a Don Granger. A Hawkman. A Legends of the Dark Knight. Black Canary. Now, this Black Canary is pretty. Oh, wow. Okay, looks like we have some QR stuff that you can upload to a database or something. But yeah, I don't just collect Yu-Gi-Oh. I basically, if it's something fun and obscure in the trading card realm, I'll probably buy it just to just to have a little bit of fun. Uh, I think this is some of the one of some of the bulk from the Rip Till You Hit channels. Um, I think they were all rarity collection. So we got Nightmare Unicorn. We have a Ultra Decode Heat Soul. We have a Secret Selene. We have a Super Magicalized. Super Iris. Ultra Avramax. Super Metal F Dragon. Super Artifact Lancia. We have a pot, Ultra Pot of Extravagance. Not bad, not bad. Ultra Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. And a Secret Galaxy Afterglow. And a Super Artemis. Right. Also, all of this, all the rest of the stuff is going to be part of the whatnot purchases. And mail day, we have a Ultra Junk Speeder, Super Ice Dragon's Prison, Super Egyptian God Slime. We have a Super Lightning Storm. We'll always take that. We have an Ultra Reasoning, Ultra Ancient Fairy Dragon. We have a secret ice barrier and a super reasoning. Yeah, that's all bulk stuff. Oh, that's right. There was a prismatic ultimate rare galaxy eyes full armor photon dragon. Definitely going in the collection. And another prismatic ultimate rare pre preparation of rights. Also going into the binder. We have. Alright. Beautiful. Secret evenly matched. Probably going in the shop. <laughs> We have a beautiful Ultra Pot of Prosperity also going into the shop. Let's see. Oh, right. This was part of uh, my late night expenditures. This is why this is why whatnot is dangerous for somebody like me. Because I'll be up all night looking at shit. And then I bid on stupid. Well, not stupid. This was fun. But uh, got a, a rare hunter's club signed. Is it? Did he sign the sleeve? Oh yeah, the sleeve. Okay. But hey, uh, I think my one of my clients was looking for a dark magician girl. But hey, it's a comment. I don't feel mind giving away. But apparently, he's. Uh, I, I made a bid or two, and then I was inducted into the. Uh, rare Hunters Club on whatnot. 
So I'll take it. We also have a Magician Salvation. Wind the Wind Channeler. Summon Limit just got put on the ban list. Compulse is always a good card. We have Eldritch the Golden Lord Alt. And... Our, C our uh, QCR was... Spectre Border. Well, it wasn't a good hit. It's still a QCR that I, I don't think I have. So, once again, we're going to keep that bad boy for the collection. Now, I bought a couple of lots. I, this is a, a pull or two, and I got this. I'm still missing the uh, Doctor Who Secret Lair uh, box. Hopefully it comes in soon. Uh, I don't think the package was tampered with. Uh, we'll see. Um a mystic tutor I'm pretty sure is the only card that is in here yep but yeah a nice vintage oh gosh a mystic tutor um i'm gonna have to look at that one if anybody has any idea how good that is you let me know now this was a pretty big rip till you hit. Uh, I, I figured out, I didn't figure out the game completely, but uh, very interesting. You uh, you keep opening until you get a certain rarity or higher, and it was a quarter century rare that everybody was looking for. So I uh, wound up opening a lot of packs in in on the way to that uh, quarter century. Well, well, at least going to start with a Forbidden Droplet. An Ultimate Rare. Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. And Gearsu. Prism, Alpha Ultra, Summon Secret, Rip Baron, Rip Borload, Rip Baron Ultra, Alpha, Blue Eyes Secret, Super Danger Jackalope, Super Eldlich, Ultra Code Talker, and then yes, there is this beautiful collector rare reinforcements of the army. Man, just look at that. We have a tour guide from the underworld secret, a super change of heart, a nightmare unicorn super, ultra dengirsu, ultra time thief redoer, secret wing dragon of raw, magicalized super, Channeler Super, beautiful. An Ultra Triple Tactics Talent. Deeples are always a great thing to see. Black Wings, Simon, uh, Poison Wind, and Ultra. Another Secret Blue Eyes Abyss. Super Pot. Celine Super. A beautiful Ultra Ash. And an Ultra Decode. Oh, right, we weren't even done. That was only, like, half the stack. Uh, we got a Secret Fossil. Super Golem. Super Galaxy Eyes. Ultra Nadir. Ultra Ghost Trick. Super God Slime. Oh, no, Secret God Slime. Super God Slime. Super Summon Limit. Ultra Compulsory. Ultra Tour Guide. We have a secret ghost bell, a dark ruler super. Oh right, 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 right. And then I, I think I did open up. I think I won like a giveaway for a pack of Phantom Nightmare or something. So there's a super kingdom of the Ashen City, 
he hooked it up with this uh, tribute to the Doom. Is this Ian? Yeah, yeah, this is the 25th. Yeah, this is the 25th. Um, thing. And a Star Papillon. XYZ Bento. Secret Battlefield Tragedy. Oh, that's right. BLMR. Ultra Mathmic. Ultra Shirakusai. Ultra Akashi. Ultra Baldrick. Secret Photon Jumper. Underworld Princess. And Odd Eyes Butler. Oh boy, I'm going to have a lot of stuff to put in my shop after all this. I think this was just bulk bulk. I really don't think there's anything shiny in here. Cannon Gunner is good. Yeah, Cannon Gunner good. Almonds. King of the Ashen City, you're going to go with all of your Ashen people. Right, more bulk. This is all, yeah, more common bulk. Ah, I think this is just like a random one pack thing that I went in for. Yeah, Tinker Rumble and Bugdotic Super. Ah, this is another giveaway. Uh, Ultra Junk Warrior. It's, uh, it's in pretty rough shape, man. at that. Oof. Yeah, I'd give this away too. Ooh, boy. Yep. Well, you go in the uh, scrap pile. Junk Warrior. Junk Warrior. Oh. Oh, right. And this was one of the bigger ones that I got out of everything. A beautiful quarter century forbidden droplet. Just look at that shine. These quarter centuries are so pretty. I think the starlights are definitely of better quality and uh, print, but man, those QCRs really, really come close. Right, we got a couple of snake egg, sneaker cards. Yep. Elegy and Oak. This is. All right, got me another dark hole dragon. Uh, since I have a play set, homie's probably gonna wind up in the shop. Um, oh, we got two in here. Right, right, right. I hit on this Infernal Flame Banshee, and they were like, nah, 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 I can't let you do that, I can't let you do that, that's not a good enough hit, and they threw in this Despian Lulu Walilith. I will, uh, I'll take it. Hey, I'm not, he was like, I don't know how much this is worth. I was like, I do. I know how much that Lulu's worth. I have one in my deck right now. And so, <laughs> I mean, yo... You want to throw me that? Hey, that is not, I ain't mad at that at all. I already have one, so that's profit, baby. Let's put you. You want to start hoarding Pyro stuff because of Ashens. I think, if I remember correctly, and man, she can be played with them, so we're gonna keep a hold of her. I've already sold a couple of her before. And the last one is this beautiful lightning storm. Man, two. Now I have two. Man, all right. Just beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so out of all of those, we definitely got two out of three are very decent. Quarter centuries. 
some other very fun and beautiful luxury rare cards like collectors and ultimates. You know what? Man. Yeah, yeah, we're still gonna open these. I was like, I don't even know if I wanna open these now. Like, just looking at those, those card, all those cards that I got in was really nice. But how are you going to have a pack opening channel and not open packs on a video? Three. I'm only opening three. Alright, we got Geo the Gravity Ninja. Galaxy 100. Light of the Branded. Scareclaw Castira. And... Wow. Secret Rare ga uh, Gravekeeper's Inscription. You know, Heart of the Pack? I'm just saying. I don't do too bad for myself. So yeah, all the cards that you've seen today is everything that I don't have in binders. Uh, next video, we'll go over binders. Uh, we got Core of Chaos, Numeron Creation, Giant Ball Game, Diablantis, and an Ultra Rare Chaos Archfiend. All right, all right. Not the chaos, uh, not the chaos card that I was looking for, but it's still. Two out of three decent hits for just blisters. Can we get one more? All right, we got Geo the Gravity Ninja, Evil Eyes Unleashed, Numeron Creation. Gishki Grimness and Green Ninja. Well, two out of three, not bad. I will take it. All right, guys, I'm not going to take up too much of your attention. I do want y'all watching more of these videos longer, so um, I'm keeping this one much shorter uh, because if I pull out the binders, it's going to be a whole nother video. So next time I see you guys, you'll get to see what's in the binders. And what I decide to open up. Catch you then.